Hello, National Lampoon's fans. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another pop review. On the 23rd day of, of December, which is two days until Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I'll be taking a look at the pop movies National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation number 242, Clark Griswold by Funko. So here it is in the box. So for the packaging wise, it's a usual, just a usual pop packaging. But with the characters of Clark Griswold on the side here, you got all the Christmas slides and you get the name of the title of the film, which I have seen, I say back in 2017. And I absolutely love this movie. Very hilarious film. If you're, if you're watching this and have never seen this movie, go ahead, check it out. It's really funny. And I heard there's a sequel to, um, National Lampoon's Vacation, which I've never seen. Probably one, probably one day I will, and then watch. And I heard there's the other one called European Vacation. You get the name wrapped around the Christmas slides, and it's recommended for ages 17 plus. Huh, it's weird that this. Huh, it's weird that this pop is from a PG-13 film, and then marketed as 17. Huh, probably National Lampoon's. Films are more like for the um, adult humor, all that. And also on the side here, you get an image of the pop, and you get the, the Griswold's house, and also Cousin Eddie's van here, and the Griswold's mobile <laughs> with a Christmas tree on top. And you get, I guess, Clark Griswold gets electrocuted. Hmm, <laughs> hilarious. On the back here, you got two pops in this wave, only two pops. The only one is Cousin Eddie, which is, I do want this pops. Oh man, that line from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation was full. Yeah. The the, the crap was full. Yeah. <laughs> and of course on the top you can see the Chris, uh, Santa Claus and reindeers flowing over the moon. No, not in front of the moon. Yeah. So that's about it for the box. Now let's release Griswold out of the box. Here we got Clark Griswold out of the box. Take a look at the pop here. I gotta say, they did really a nice job capturing the looks of the pop. I mean, I mean, not too bad at all. The head scope's not too bad. It's just the usual standard pop, pop. I mean, it could have like a little bit of likeness to Chevy Chase. Now let's take a look at the Christmas hat here. Now the Christmas hat, I say they did a really great job on the little the little fur wrapped around on the um on the hat, including this little cotton ball there. The hat itself, they did a really great job sculpting onto it. And I love how they sculpt the bells on, on the hat as well. Take a look at the outfit here. Now the outfit they did a really great job capturing the looks from the outfit, the uh, the long Santa coat and the fur very well sculpted well on the furs. And you can see he's holding eggnog with a little moose and antlers here. I guess this is from the National Lampoon's vacation film. I guess that's the one when he goes like that moose land, whatever it's called. I need to see that movie. You can see the little tie here. And the little, you can see the, uh, his coat here on, on, on the fur coat. I'm sorry, the Santa Longs. Trench coat. And you can see the little belt here with a little pa painting on the the buckle, of course. And funny enough, you get the little coupon of the water park that his boss gave him to him instead of the actual promotion of of the money, since his boss is actually a cheapskate. <laughs> oh man, that insult that Clark made from that film, <laughs> hilarious. Uh, now take a look at the pants here, nothing much on the pants, and also you get a little fly sculpting onto it, on the shoes, nothing much on the shoes, but you can see some sculpted shoelaces, and nothing much on the, the bottom black feet, shoe thing, and on the bottom there's some Lego, blah 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 blah. So overall, I, I gotta say, I love how they did capturing the looks from the film. I mean, it's a really a nice looking pop for your holiday collection. I gotta say, this 
it's a really, really amazing job. They did a really amazing job with this pop. And I'm hoping Funko can make another version of Clark Criswold where he's wearing the hockey mask and holding a chainsaw. You know that scene? <laughs> that was hilarious. But then mine, I'm not sure they have the license. They still have the license for National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Uh, maybe in the future we'll get a Clark Chris Wald with a chainsaw and hockey mask. That would be really funny and cool. Probably one, probably the exclusive would be the, uh, un, like, you know, his mask lifted up. That would be cool. So, uh, overall, I absolutely love this video, this pop. I really liked it a lot. Very well sculpted, detailed. Very nice, very, they did a really great job on the paint apps, everything looks perfect. Now I need to find his cousin Eddie, I'm pretty sure it's worth 10 bucks and pretty sure it's really easy to find him. Maybe I will find cousin Eddie. <laughs> so I can complete my National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Pops. So that's about it, make sure to tune in for new videos daily, don't forget to subscribe. Like this video, share this video, and comment on this video. And also make sure to turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified new uploads after you subscribe. So you won't miss any new uploads and you can be part of the notification squad. And finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. So that's about it. This is the Pop Movies National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation number 242. Clark Griswold Pop, made by Funko, and this is JAR369, thank you for watching.